Hi, everybody. Hey, I remember a conversation I had years ago with a, a good friend of mine, and he and I were talking about the tests that God allows to enter our lives to test our faith. And he said, does God really do that? Does God test our faith? And, and I said, yeah, he does. And and we looked at what I'm going to be preaching on this Sunday, 1 Peter chapter 1. Uh, but also I came upon this passage in, in Psalm 66, verses 10 and following. Listen to this. For you, O God, have tested us. You tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us to a place of abundance. So when we go through fiery trials, as many of us are, as, as maybe you are today, God is refining and shaping and molding our faith like he does with silver, like he does with gold. When, when it's put in fire, the impurities of the silver, the impurities of the gold are burnt away and all that's left is pure gold or pure silver. And so God does the same thing with our faith. The problem is we don't like it. <laughs> we don't like it when God does that and, and it's not pleasant and it's not fun and it's kind of irritating. But at the end of it, God is refining our faith and remolding our character and shaping us into what he wants us to be. And so the best thing that we can do is simply go with it. You know, simply trust him in the midst of it. Not become angry or disconcerted or anxiety ridden, but just say, God, you have a plan for me. You're allowing me to go through these various trials to mold and shape and perfect my faith. And I'm going to trust you. Um, one of the things that is happening, especially with young people today, is they might be really well grounded in the faith, and then they go off to college, and some professor tells them that Christianity is a myth and a fable, and it can't be trusted. Well, that's a testing of their faith. And what enables them to remain faithful and, and steadfast in their faith? Staying connected to the church. I pray that you guys stay connected to this church as we go through this pandemic, and as we continue to... Uh, have things that come into our lives that mold and shape us and test our faith. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord Jesus.